When Santander came to us, they were looking for uh, innovation, something that uh, definitely would differentiate that space. El centro de visitas lo podemos definir como la verdadera puerta de entrada al banco. Es el primer contacto de los visitantes y usuarios con la cultura del Banco Santander. The visitor center had to be a reference, a reference in technology, innovation. This center had to reflect the bank's position as one of the biggest in the world. That was the challenge. What if we could create something that could really function with humans and be useful? And so the outcome was this robotic system that communicates with you in your own language, figures out where you want to go and actually takes you there. SIGA stands for Santander Interactive Guest Assistance. When the visitors arrive, they find this touchscreen console where they can choose a language and their destination. It can be a meeting room nearby, uh, the auditorium, or the exit to the bus station. It's Santander's very own family of robotic butlers that welcome me, help me to explore that building and amuse me. This is probably the first application that uses swarm robotics in a commercial context. We normally see robots in factories or in research labs, but in this case we've developed a set of robots that function in a crowded space, 24-7, 365 days a year. The main feature we wanted this wall to have, and because it's a very wide space, was the ability to function on different stages, depending on the user's distance to the wall itself. The interactive wall is a result of Santander's need to communicate its history and its presence in the world. The application is aware of what's around and can react and adapt itself to the different conditions. The goal here was to take a really big model of Santander's financial city and build an augmented reality setup around it. The main idea is that these four screens look like they're transparent. And so to do this, we used state-of-the-art lasers and a huge database of photographs of the model. And we added a digital layer of information so users could explore all the aspects that we don't see or understand. All the facilities we can find, architectural details, Santander's concerns about art all over the city, and so on. These new trends concerning digital architecture will become a common feature in public spaces in the future. And we thought this environment in the financial city could use some of that. Estos deseos del banco, que nos iba a saber dar lo que nosotros buscábamos realmente, algo que no existiera en ningún lugar del mundo.